Hundreds of people in Cuba, they're facing serious prosecution today because of the historic protests that happened last July. Some of those people arrested included minors. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro talked to local Cuban Americans about how they feel. That time is crucial right now, that there is a moment in time that we have to listen to the Cuban people. Since the historic July 11th protest in Cuba, nearly 800 people were arrested and indicted for acts of vandalism and other serious disturbances, according to Cuba's attorney general's office. Cuban playwright Vanessa Garcia says continued exposure of what is happening is the only hope these political prisoners have. Up until now, it's only been people who have been related to or know people inside the island and in communication with that become imprisoned for peaceful protest or for simply wanting free speech or to become or, or being uh, working freely as artists. Right now, 710 political prisoners are facing trial. So far, 172 have been convicted. Because there are children in, included in these 700 people that we're speaking about. There are people who ha were wrongfully, they're all wrongfully uh, imprisoned, but there's people that weren't even protesting that are being imprisoned. Jorge Alfonso, owner of Capri Bakery and Restaurant off Southern Boulevard in West Palm Beach, left Cuba when he was 20. 12. Alfonso says action should have been done at a global scale to defend human rights. That the international community did not uh, took the appropriate steps to uh, help the, uh, the Cuban people. This is, uh, this is horrific. This is uh, the right to protest, the right to express your, uh, your way of thinking. It should be a, a forefront of any society. The July protests weren't the only time people took to the streets. Garcia says there have been thousands of peaceful protests for freedom last year from January through November. If we do not unveil and tell the truth, there is no one that is telling that truth and no one seeing those 3,053 other protests apart from the one that you saw on TV. Um, Publicly. In West Palm Beach, I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5.